Hey, I'm John Connell. Today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making brookies. So let's get started. For this delicious combination of brownies and cookies, I'm gonna melt half a cup of butter. That's gonna happen in the microwave, so let's pop that in. My butter is hot and melty. This is a great time to bloom the cocoa powder, which just means you're melting it in a hot fat. We're gonna use a third of a cup of cocoa powder. And if you watch this channel, you know I love to sift it out, but today that's not gonna happen because of the blooming. We're gonna give this a nice whisk just to incorporate it in. And you can see that beautiful like fudgy color comes out right away. That's amazing. It's one of the secrets to a delicious brownie is to always add the cocoa powder with the butter or oil if you're using that. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Now we're gonna whisk in half a cup of granulated sugar. It's like 100 grams. This bowl's pretty small. And half a cup of brown sugar as well. This is like a really decadent, delicious dessert bar. And it just so happens to be one of Brian's favorite things because he loves brownies and chocolate chip cookies. And we're gonna mix that in as well. So this is looking kind of funky right now, but it's gonna happen. It's going to get there. I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt right now, and two eggs will loosen everything up. One of the secrets to a brownie that has that nice top is to really mix the eggs in well so the sugar starts to dissolve. But because these brookies have a chocolate chip cookie coating, it doesn't really matter as much. So you don't have to mix, 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 mix. You could just mix it until it's really well incorporated. I also want one teaspoon of vanilla. Now we're gonna mix this up. It smells amazing. You can see we have this kind of like nice chocolate fudge consistency or like chocolate ganache almost. Now we're gonna mix in half a cup of flour. That's 60 grams. This gets stirred in just gently until it's combined. There, and just like that. We have an amazing chocolate brownie mixture. The only thing our brownies are missing, three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips, more or less. Just add that in, they mix in really well. Now, we're gonna transfer this into our prepared pan. This is the base layer, so get it all out. Don't waste any of that batter. Use your spatula, get it all out. Don't know why I'm using like a whisk to get things out, it doesn't work. We're just gonna spread this out to the edges so it has a nice brownie base. It might seem a little bit thin right now, but trust and believe it'll all work out because we're gonna add cookie dough all over the top of this. Okay, this is ready to set aside and now we're gonna make our chocolate chip cookie dough. Grab a mixer out, plug it in. I'm gonna cream half a cup or 113 grams of unsalted room temperature butter. Okay, to that butter, I'm gonna add 100 grams or half a cup of granulated sugar and one quarter cup of brown sugar. Pack it in. This will get mixed up for like three to four minutes until it's light and fluffy. And you can scrape the bowl down as needed. Okay. Right now I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna scrape that bowl down because you see lots of butter streaks here. I see like brown sugar deliciousness. Mix it up. Mm. One teaspoon of vanilla, one egg, Soupy realness, you see butter sugar stuff, so we're gonna scrape that bowl down again. You can see here there's like a difference in the textures. We want it all to be homogenous or the same. I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, sprinkle it in, and we're gonna mix this up again to get it really nice and distributed. That looks so pretty. Look at that. That's nice and mixed up. Grab that scale. 
I'm gonna add in 160 grams or one and a third cups. Plop that back onto our mixer. So I'm gonna scrape it down to begin the mix. Mix on low until it's almost combined. Which means you'll see some streaks of flour here and there, but we're gonna add the chocolate chips in next and it'll fix everything. Add those chocolate chips in, one cup, your choice, I'm using semi-sweet. Just like 10 seconds to mix it up and distribute everything. And you can just do one final scrape because it looked totally fine on top, but I found a huge pocket of flour. You can see there. Just work it in with your spatula. This recipe is super forgiving. It's not like a cookie where it kind of has to be really exact. So it's okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, that's great. Mixer's all done. Thank you for your service. The fun part is grabbing spoonfuls of the cookie dough and just plopping them on top. This isn't a complete coverage situation. This is a giraffe pattern situation. So you wanna have spoonfuls with a little bit of the brownie showing through because in the bake, the brownie will rise up and you'll have that beautiful marbleized pattern. Sometimes when you have recipes where things are divided, you can kind of panic because you're like, oh, I don't have enough to cover the complete top. But this isn't even that situation. Just get like a nice dappled texture throughout. Little islands of cookie dough in a chocolate sea. We're gonna cover this up with foil. It bakes for 20 minutes at 350 covered. Pop that foil off and bake an additional 20 minutes and then I'll show you next steps. I can't help myself. We're gonna cover this with a couple more chocolate chips just on the cookie dough part so they look extra pretty. It's an optional step, but I can't help myself. These will be just glossy and melty when they come out of the oven and really clean and chocolatey. Last chip on. Now we're gonna bake for 20 minutes covered. 350, in you go. Out of the oven, cool enough to touch. Look at that beautiful, just, modeled texture, I love it. Now, easy cleanup. <laughs> oh, the smell, <laughs> so good. Look at that. Mmm, that is some fudgy brownie cookie amazingness. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I could eat that all day long. <laughs> it's like, it's really good. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this recipe, check out my dessert bar playlist.